HoopsterStateCollege.com. I'm Nate Mink here with Ben Jones. We uh, just wrapped up a, a short 15-20 uh, minute media session at the Latch Practice Fields watching Penn State practice. Uh, we're at Navy week this week. Uh, Penn State kicks off against Navy at 3.30. Uh, ABC Regional televises it. ESPN2 National televises it. Penn State, of course, looking for its first win. Uh, ben, just to recap practice real quick, we had a, we had a couple injury notes just to, to keep track of. Bill Belton, Derek Day were out there running around practicing. That's obviously a positive sign. No indication, though, on whether or not they'll be uh, playing on Saturday, though. They're still day-to-day uh, as of now. Donovan Smith, the left tackle, he was not practicing today, but he didn't have a boot on his ankle. So that's... You know, take it. You know, read into it. What you want? That's at least a positive step. But it, 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 you know, we're running out of days here where the left tackle will be able to go. Pete Massaro did not practice today. He wasn't even out there dressed or anything like that. Um, and and that's really it on the injury front. Um, you know, we saw Sam Ficken kick a few balls today. He, he, from what I saw, made every single one of them. So that's yeah, yeah. That's he was really five positive. for five from 35, 37 yards. So looks like he's got his confidence back. The team was getting behind him when he made those kicks so that's that's definitely a good thing to see yeah um you know like i said bell and day were back out here practicing but we saw zach zwinak and mike zordich uh be the one two at, at the tailback position at least during the brief period that we saw uh the other the other you know big storyline to watch is we saw paul jones uh get rid of the red jersey uh i think at least for good uh now he's with the wide receivers and and the f tight end position he was he was at least warming up with the wide receivers uh in, in what we saw uh ben i mean Looking ahead to Saturday, I mean, Jones is, is going to get on the field from what Coach O'Brien told us on Tuesday. What are your expectations for him? Um, I think it's going to be interesting to see how they utilize him. I mean, they, the tight end position is really one of those things that Penn State's got a lot of depth in. So, you know, there's no real reason that they have to throw Paul Jones out in the, in the very beginning of the game. But I would, uh, I'd expect to see him catch a couple balls at least uh, use his physical body to set up from some blocks for whoever's running behind him. And it'll be interesting to see how they use him, maybe a trick play here or there since he's got the arm to throw. So you never know. Yeah, Matt McGloin, uh, who was held out of throwing drills on Monday, uh, was back out there, you know, Tuesday already. And then certainly again today, he, he looks good. He showed no ill signs of, of, you know, being bothered by that elbow. So by all accounts, he looks good to go for Saturday. Uh, defensively, anything you anything you notice on that side of the ball? I mean, obviously Saturday they have a they have a pretty you know tough task trying to stop that triple option where it's you know it, it, you know it's, it's really just going to test their discipline and their focus, like kind of O'Brien alluded to on Tuesday. Yeah, I think the the tough part about uh, playing against Navy is like you said, discipline because you have to be able to stay at home and not commit to any of the aspects of the triple option that they run. So. I mean, you'll always like Penn State when they just have to stop the run. That's something that traditionally Penn State's always been good at for the most part, except for guys like Trent Richardson, but he's a special back. So I, I think, you know, Penn State's going to have an on, another strong defensive showing. Navy struggled with turnovers in their first game. Uh, so if they, if they can continue to get the other team to cough the ball up, you know, it could be a good game for Penn State. Navy had a week off last week after losing 50-10 to 10 to Notre Dame in Dublin, Ireland. Um, so I'm sure they're anxious to get back out there and, you know, at least try to put forth an, a you know, more positive showing. Prediction for Saturday, I mean, obviously we're, we have two teams looking for their, their first win. Penn State's been close a, a couple times, particularly Saturday. Do they do they break through finally? Yeah, I think this is the game that Penn State finally gets their first win. Navy's not a bad team, but I think that Penn State's going to be able to move the ball. They're going to be able to stop Navy uh, when they need to, and I think they'll pick up the first win of the Bill O'Brien era. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you're, you're going to have, like I said, I mean, the, the Shawnee Kersey, he obviously, he obviously left the team in the last – Oh, geez, 24 hours or so. I don't really see that hurting them too much. Um, you know, it's going to be interesting how they mix and match their wide receivers. You know, Alex Kenny may be out wide a little bit more than he really was in the past. Trevor Williams may have a more increased role. Maybe Geno Lewis sees some uh, targets come his way. Um, but, I, like, I agree. I think Penn State finally does break through uh, and, and pick up a win. I'm, I'm not sure by how much. Just because you know, I, I mean, when's the last time they have blown out a team? Really? I yeah. Mean, I mean, Northwestern last year they won, I think, by ten points. I mean, that's that's really the last time they put up a, a real positive showing. Um, but but I do think Penn State finally does break through. So, but you know, we'll, we will see you from Beaver Stadium on Saturday uh, evening for Nate Mink. Or excuse me, for Ben Jones. <laughs> I am Nate Mink. See ya.